So let's say I'm working on some marketing materials for a music subscription service, and I've got some designs here in Figma that I need to publish to the web. In addition to building the landing page, each month I'd like to try and make some visual updates to keep things interesting. It's nice to be able to keep our landing page dynamic, but I really don't want to redesign it every time. I'd rather just update the pieces that matter and push them to production. So you can see we've got some icons around here that we probably won't change that often. And we've got some bigger, splashier images that we want to update at some interval to keep things interesting. And I've also got some album covers that may need to be changed on a moment's notice. And this is one of those common design tasks that starts to make a mess of our document really quickly. Okay, so I've shown you what's in Figma. Now let's take a look at the GitHub side. On the GitHub side of things, we've got a repo set up with an initial blocking of our site. The HTML and CSS have already been written, and we're using GitHub pages so that everything we push to master will automatically become live. All we need to do now is create a connection between our design files in Figma and our GitHub repo so we can get some images in here. Okay, so back in Figma, you can see we've broken apart the designs for easy transport. We really don't want all the images we have to go into Relay, so I'll need a way to tell Figma which files I care about. And I can do this via export settings. So if I click on any asset, I can set an export setting, any export setting, and that will tell Relay that I care about this image and that I want it to be pulled into my project. And I'll be able to dial in my naming and output formats when I get there. Relay will also need our file URL, so I'll copy that here. So after a very quick setup, I can come into Relay, I can create a new project. I'll paste my Figma file URL, and I'll choose my repo, first with the organization name, followed by the repo name, and then finally the parent branch, which is what we'll base our PRs off of. And then I'll create my project. So by default, Relay puts all of my assets in default route. And here you can see it's going to go to slash assets at 1x png. But I can create as many routes as I want. And I have a lot of icons in my project, so I'll create one called icons, which will go to slash assets slash icons at 1x png and 2x png. So once I've done all the work to define my routes, I can start putting images in those routes. So I've got my icons here. I can stash those in icons. I've got a foreground image, and I'll put that in images. And then I have some transparent backgrounds, which I'll put in transparent backgrounds, and then two solid ones, which will go in backgrounds. And since default route is also a route, I want to take all of these and remove them from default route. So now we won't see any in here. And when I return to all routes, I can push them all to the repo just with this one button. And this will just take a moment. Now we can see that our push was successful and it's created a pull request for us in Relay. And I can view that pull request in GitHub. Should be able to get details about the commit, as well as look at the assets that we've pushed. We can verify that those are the right ones. And my coworkers can come in here and merge my pull request. And now that our changes have rolled into master, you can see that they're updated on our GitHub page.